I wanted to talk about saving information for your descendants, your grandchildren. However, um, since I study every morning uh, before I eat, because I think we can uh, absorb information better when we're not digesting food at the same time. Anyway, I, re I read uh, the Hebrew Bible um, and other books every morning. Sometimes I read them online or I listen to audio and I take notes and then um, at the end of the week on the Sabbath and Saturday I review the week's notes because I, I want to remember. And I have so many of these books for years of taking notes and also I put my thoughts in there about life, about how I'm feeling or whatever. Can you imagine if everyone did this? What if I right now had in my possession something like this that my grandmother or my great grandmother or or whoever would have written? Do you know how precious that would be to to read what they were thinking, how they were feeling, and, and how you would understand your relatives better because you'd know what they were going through at the time. Anyway, it's just an idea. Let's say, let's say everyone did this, and the famous people, they could sell each of these books for like a million dollars each, right? So writing is good, writing is a blessing, and um, letting people know what you went through it is a wonderful thing. The families don't live together any longer, so the children don't have uh, the benefit of what their um, what their grandparents uh, have learned, and, and you know it seems to me that each generation is not uh, evolving more and more, but we're devolving. Um, the uh, the staff in in the dental office I go to, um, there's such a generation gap. A few of them are really sensitive, and I could talk to them, but. Most of them, they don't understand what I'm saying, and then what I'm saying just sounds weird, and then they think I'm weird. So, but I keep trying, and um, I think uh, we should be examples. Us, people that are over 50, do you know in the Bible that when a priest became 50 years old, he didn't retire, but he became supervisor. He didn't do the regular routine work anymore, but he supervised everybody. Now, wouldn't this be wonderful if if no one retired, but they stayed working as a supervisor? I mean, right now they have very young people, you know, in their 20s, you know, being bosses, and they can't possibly understand, you know, what, what we gather after so many years of experience, after all the people we've met. And after we see what happened to these people, like we know what their lifestyle was when they were in their 20s and 30s, and we see how it affected them now in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, so we know something. So please share with the young people in your life. If your relatives don't want to hear you, then, then share it with the, with the kid in the grocery store who's, who's packing your groceries or, or wherever you are. Just... You know, be yourself and, and don't feel like you have to look like everyone else and, and use the same slang and, and think like everyone else. I mean, the Almighty gave us free will, and that free will is not meant to just copy society around us. We're supposed to think and don't do anything in, in your health life that's going to interfere with your thinking and that means uh, nicotine and alcohol and caffeine and high fat. Uh, fat clogs our arteries and, and our blood vessels and our tiny capillaries. Can you imagine? How can you think straight if you have clogged blood vessels in your brain? So think about all these things. Let's, let's be the best we can be Let's use everything we've learned for good. And now I forgot what this video was supposed to be out, be about anyway. Oh yes. 
<laughs> that I study every morning and I and I take notes. And um, I read the uh, the New Testament over and over again for like twenty years, and um, and I've read the Quran also uh, for years uh, over and over again, and I listen to audio of it. And you know, right now I'm going through the the, the English translation of the Hebrew Bible. Um, you know again and again because um, it's it's like it's like alive and, and I need to hear this encouragement and especially the prophecies are so fascinating um, and they seem they seem to fit what's going on today especially the verse uh, about pestilence pestilence is is sent to to reset everyone you know the they're in a bunch of bad activities. They're doing, they're, tre they're treating each other bad. And when you have pestilence like we have now with the uh, the COVID virus, uh, you you stop everything and you rethink everything. And that's good for us. And let's use it for good.